Well, good afternoon, everybody and or anybody. Christian with Make Time for Fishing here. I'm out on Shem Creek again. Uh, can't get rid of me, I guess. It is actually a pretty beautiful day compared to last time. It's about 55 degrees out and sunny currently. Very little wind, a little bit of a breeze, but not much. I am hoping to do some sheep's head fishing, hoping to use a new type of bait I've never made a video with before. I'm going to be using fresh caught oysters. Uh, if you've never shucked an oyster, this is the guy you use, a little oyster knife here. Got little finger guards because those guys are sketchy. You're gonna want a pair of gloves because they'll slice your hands right up they're like razor blades. I'm gonna make some mesh bag bait pouches so they can't get stolen as easily because sheep's head are notorious bait thieves. And oysters are really easy to steal. They're very soft, they fall off the hook easily. But uh, sheep's head love them, so they'll bite quickly. Anyway, I need to go find some oysters, shuck them up, maybe eight to 10, and then I'll make my pouches and I'll show you how I do that. Stay tuned guys, and uh, I'll get back with you. Roll up my sleeve here. This one looks pretty promising. There we go. All right, got one good one there. And an important thing, if you are gonna use oysters as bait, always throw the shells back. What happens is little baby oysters that are fl free floating around in the water column, they glob onto old oyster shells and basically that's what helps them grow. It's like a substrate for new ones. There's another one right there. That's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Nice. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm gonna try to get maybe three or four more good ones and then we'll start tying up the pouches. So we have our oysters in there. They look gross, but that doesn't matter. They're fresh and they taste delicious for sheep's head. And basically what we're gonna use is this bag seen better days, but this is called spawn netting. It's basically a bait mesh that's very fine. It basically allows you to wrap soft baits up and doesn't scare off the fish and they can't really feel it and but they can taste it but it keeps the bait on there better so you need the um, spawn netting and then you need bait floss essentially it's a very stretchy string that sticks to itself and allows you to easily wrap and tie off the ends of these bags so we're using very tiny pieces of bait today i'll make a few different sizes but we're supposed to i'm supposed to use very very small ones but I'll use bigger ones in case they're interested in taking it. So this will be the first one, this is tiny. This is like half my thumbnail. And basically what you do is you take that, cinch it off, and you basically just start wrapping right above it. You wanna get as many times around as you can, but really, six to eight times is plenty. And once you wrap it on top of itself, then you pull and it breaks off and you have a little pouch. Then you trim off the extra bag above the thread so it doesn't get in the way. And this stuff's very fine so it cuts easily and boom, little bag of oyster. Let's make a few different size ones and uh, and we'll get fishing. All right, so here's the rig today. Three quarter ounce egg sinker, barrel swivel, about six or seven inches of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, size two circle hook with a loop knot so it can kind of drift pretty, uh, so it can kind of drift freely in the current and look a little more natural. And then that little bag of oyster barely hooked on there. The idea is I'm trying to keep the hook nice and open so I can get a good hook set in these uh, tough sheep head mouths. Yes! <laughs> it's a good one too. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Let's see if we still have our bait. Oh, we do, 13 and a half, but the first one to eat the bag of oyster. 
So, confirmed that the bait works. Got my first one on the little bag of oyster. And I still have my bait. Oh, do you see that? Come on, take it. Yep. <laughs> little, little guy, but I will gladly take him today. Let me get you free. I know you're not coming home. Second one on the same little oyster. They're biting this so gently, I might have to go back to my favorite docks after this. This is a good one, this is a good one. Oh, oh. <laughs> of course I land this guy. Smallest one, <laughs> come on. Third one on the same little bit of oyster still. But they're definitely biting now. This is a good one. Nice. Oh yeah. Come on, come on, get in the net. Oh yes. <laughs> Woo! That is my first keeper ever on oysters. <laughs> and uh, he's going in the cooler right now. Let's check. I still have that same oyster four or five sheep's head later. All right, hook is out. I'm gonna get him blood out, get him in the cooler. Oh. oh yeah. Let's make a freshie real quick. Nice big one. Now this is a big chunk of oyster. It's possible this is too big. But uh, we'll find out, I hope. Oh. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> All right, so it's not too big. Neither is this fish, but um, it's not due to my bait. So, he hit that hard too. Little guy. <laughs> Come on, man, I'm trying to get a big one at the last second, not you. <laughs> but they're down there. Come on, there we go. Okay, well that was a great little afternoon slash early evening of sheep's head fishing. I am so excited that that worked. Um, the idea that I can use oysters, which I can get anywhere on the creeks here, and use those as bait instead of fiddler crabs is huge. They were biting it just as well. It was harder to detect the bite, I would say, because they don't have anything to crush, like with the shell, they hit it, then they come back and bite again, that's when they take the actual crab. But with the oysters, because it's already out of the shell, they kind of just pick it up, but then they can't grab it, so they're kind of just hanging on to it. So you feel a little bit of weight, or you see it swimming sideways, and you just have to rip into them with the hook, but it works. Um, and I was able to catch four or five fish, including a couple of missed fish that I hooked um, on one oyster. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful for you. I know it was helpful for me, this little, call it an experiment. Shout out to the guy at the bait shop who told me about this trick. Uh, I really appreciate you sharing me your little insider info. I'm getting off the water. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, I hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed the video and remember to make some time for fishing. Bye.